ProPresenter 7 is one of the best presentation softwares I've ever used. Here's the story. Week one of using ProPresenter 7 for the first time, my pastor asked for a video to be played on his queue, of course, during the message. This was no problem. So we've been using ProPresenter 7 and ProPresenter for a long time, since back in ProPresenter 4 days. I tested the video file that my pastor sent on my computer before handing it over to our visual media guy. It worked great, sound and all. Perfect. It was now time to roll the video during the message. The pastor gives us a cue, and wouldn't you know it, no sound on the video. I immediately thought it was our new volunteer sound guy that just simply forgot to hit the unmute button on the computer audio on the soundboard. And because my pastor quickly moved on after it didn't work, I forgot about it the next week when I came into work. And that's not the best idea, but it happened. Now we're at week two. My pastor asked for another video, but this time it was given to us on that Sunday morning. That's still not a problem. I was planning on being back here at the tech booth anyway after music, and I played the producer role this time. I made sure everybody was ready and on point when that video was asked for. No sound again. I died inside. I was completely embarrassed, you could imagine. Everybody's looking back at us. I was doing everything I could to get this video to play audio. <sighs> System audio preferences were perfect. It played the audio on the desktop. I didn't know what else to do. Did we not check audio before service? No, we didn't. And it finally hit me. Just like any other audio software, ProPresenter 7 has its own audio preferences, right? Of course it does. And mine was set to none. Now, if you are a ProPresenter 7 user, you understand the incredible importance of having good backgrounds and good visuals on your screen. And all this stuff right here you're seeing, I got from churchmotiongraphics.com. And actually today, if you enter the coupon code WLH and you sign up, you'll get $15 off your premium yearly subscription. Church Motion Graphics is your go-to resource for making your worship ministry look great and save you tons of time. Because look at this, I got all this right here, the welcome, the thank you for joining us, all that stuff was from Church Motion Graphics. Every week though, Church Motion Graphics delivers eye-catching screen visuals that are specifically designed to look great in churches. They are perfect for worship lyrics, announcement slides, sermon presentations, and really anywhere in your church that needs to benefit from a fresh look. The best part is CMG is affordable and they have subscriptions that work with just about any budget. So with your premium subscription, not only will you receive new worship backgrounds, but you'll also gain access to a backlog of thousands of motion backgrounds, sermon and announcement templates, social media graphics, and so much more. So go visit churchmotiongraphics.com. Don't forget to enter that coupon code WLH to get $15 off, and that's churchmotiongraphics.com, our favorite resource for church visuals. If you are new to ProPresenter 7, you gotta check your audio preferences. Yeah, I should have known that before. Go to ProPresenter, click on Preferences, go over to Audio, and see right here, this is what I saw, and I got so excited when I saw that it said None. I also was very disappointed in myself, as you can imagine. Click on None, and your audio might be built-in output if you're going straight out of the computer, or if you're going into an audio interface. Ours is the audio box USB. Click on that, and now when I play this video, we have audio. That's right. But anyway, I'm just letting you know, always check your audio setting. Check the video on ProPresenter in the house, through the speakers, before service, always. Never assume anybody else did and never make that mistake that I did because I got a stern talking to that week after the second week in a row of not having audio on the video. Yeah, I got fired. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it's helped in some way or just reminded you just to, you know, go back and check your stuff. You know, of course we want to trust our team, but sometimes when we do make a mistake, we need to make note of that and check that stuff that next week before we make the mistake again and get ourselves fired because nobody wants to get fired right now. Yeah. All right. Well, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and let me know what kind of stuff that you about got fired over. And remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Have a good day.